Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to build a shared navigation between different site collections. As you see, I'm showing this in Office 365, and I have one which we could call the root site collection, and then I have a couple of different for each um, department, one for the finance, one for the HR, one for the IT department. So now I want to make it very easy to navigate between these different site collections. There are several ways of doing that. I'm going to show you a couple. First of all, you can just go into the site collection, of course, and just add links. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy a link to the finance department, for example, like that. Just copy that. And then, of course, I can add the links up here in the global navigation. That makes it very simple to jump between the different site collections. Like that. And then I'm just going to do the same with IT. And then again with HR2. And once you've done that, and save and edit links, then you can tidy this up a bit by doing a drop-down. So I'm just going to add departments here without an address. And then it's actually possible to drag and drop the other ones underneath here. It's somewhat tricky to do, and I've had a lot of success trying this in Firefox. In Internet Explorer, it doesn't always work. So let's try it one more time. I'm just going to cancel that, edit links one more time, and otherwise I'll just go to Firefox and try to do it there. Now, as you see, this does not work in Internet Explorer today. So let's try it in Firefox instead. I'm just going to log in to the same site with Firefox. So now let's try that in Firefox instead with edit links, and then I'm going to go ahead and drag these things. And as you see now in Firefox, it works beautifully. There we go, HR, IT, and Finance, there we go. Save, and that works just beautifully. Departments, and then I can just click among these. But of course, the problem with this solution now, it looks okay, uh, and it looks very conventional. But the problem is now, if I go to HR, then I would have to do the same thing there, and just edit the links and add that. So instead, I'm actually going to do another suggestion, which I've already started here on the HR department. I'm going to link to search instead instead of doing the links all over again in every site collection. If I go to search, of course I find the search center, which I've already linked to, and there I can search for HR, and that will give me the HR site. Let's search for that. So I'm going to allow that. As you see, this is showing the human resources site there, which is correct. But I can also simplify this by making a search vertical that actually shows only sites. So let's do that. And I'm just going to do that by adding a page and call that sites. Create. And then I'm going to modify this web part here. And I'm going to change the web part in this page, the sites page, to only display sites. Let's see how I do that. I'm going to edit the query of this search result web part. And I'm going to show local SharePoint results. That's correct but I want to actually show the ones which has the content class is exactly the manual value sts underscore web site. That, those are site collections. Web, so it would be a sub um, webs. So I'm going to add that content class sp site. Let's run that. It doesn't return any queries now because I don't have anything to search by. So that's fine. And then I'm going to apply that. And let's see how that works now. And then I'm going to publish this so that it's ready to use. Continue there. And now if I search on um, HR, you see it's only displaying the actual HR site there, human resources. Okay, so that works good. But now, of course, I want to display this in the search vertical. Also, the page works. It only displays sites. But I'm going to display it in the navigation. So Let's do this. I'm just going to copy the URL to this page, go into Site Settings, and find the Search Settings down here. And then I'll find the Search Navigation, which has all these cert verticals. Then I'm going to add another one there called the Sites. 
which will have the, the link to the site. And let's pull in the, then I call that site CSPX, let's try that. Let's actually find the page here instead so that I get the link exactly right. And that would of course be in the pages library there. Uh, sites, yes, that's what I call it. I thought so. And then I'm going to click OK on that. And now you see I have one. And actually in this case I might not have any conversations, so I could clean that up by deleting the link to the conversations. So I could search vertical. I'm going to click OK. And this will show me the sites. And let's go back. So if I could just go to the start page here. Search. There we go. And now I'm going to search for HR. And that gives me a couple of pages which has the HR letters in it. But if I click on sites, it will only show me site collections, which has the human resources name there. So that makes it very easy to navigate. So let's go to the HR site, actually where I did that. There we go. And now if I search, I can find anything like the IT sites, for example. If I search on that, and now I only have a very small amounts of content, so that's my top search results anyhow. But if I click on here, then I only see sites, the IT sites. So that works really great. So that's a better way, in my opinion, of building a global navigation. The answer would be don't. Just put a search link up there and tell your users. Just search for the site that you want. And if you know that you want a site, just click on the search vertical that we just created for you. Like the third one was with the finance, right? Like that. And you know that it's a finance site, so just click in on sites. And you can find that very easily. So the best way of doing a global navigation is don't do it. Just go for a search site instead and build a search vertical. Thank you for watching this demonstration.